Filling my gym. Yeah, I got a gym right there, guys. <laughs> so welcome back to my fucking YouTube channel today. So then we're going to be talking a whole lot about Pi Genius. Yeah, Pi Genius. Uh huh. So um, I've been getting requests from different people, a whole lot of people. Like, hey, when are you gonna do a Pi Genius video? I don't know yet, but today I'm here to do some quick tutorial on that i'm just trying to get you to know the basics understand how it works how you can integrate java into python how cool is that but to an extent it becomes a headache when you get to subclass things you understand trying to inherit or uh, subclass an interface which is a whole lot of headache but before we get right to that let's just analyze how python use interacts with java code so here i have two windows i have a terminal on the legs panel and i have a blue j on the right panel now this terminal we are going to use it to interact with python the blue j we are going to use it to interact with java yeah we'll see equivalent of a code we write in java in PyGenius. So, for example, I've created a little project on BlueJ. You can use any Java editor of your choice, but BlueJ is so simple. I can use it to get what I want instantly. Yeah, not to start configuring many things. So, here I'm going to open this up. This is a simple main program. This, this program, all it does is to print Hello World. Uh, let me remove this thing at the top. I'm not here to teach you Java code. Remember, I'm not teaching anybody Java. I'm only trying to let you know how things work. Now we have a class here named test. This is our main class. Java runs on a class form. Without a class, Java would run. Unlike Python, you can start with a variable. You can start with a function. You can start with a class. You can even start with an import statement. So uh, in Java, it's all this. It's all different. You must start with a class. So. Here we have our public static void main program. This is actually the thing that runs our program on Java. Without this, Java won't run. Yeah. This is the main thing that runs your Java code. So you must put public static void main at the top after your class, at the top of your whatever program you are writing in Java. So this is a method. And what this method does is just to print this guy let's compile this code and let's run it uh void man yeah um and all we see here is hello world notice that you're seeing it two times is because i've come i've uh run it multiple times earlier on let me run it once more so that you know it is uh going to add another hello world to it yeah so it doesn't clear off the let's see okay it, it we can clear it from here let's run again yeah so we have that now what is the equivalent of this code in python how do we do that in python uh pretty easy we are simply going to do something like this remember i said i'm not going to teach you guys java so you gotta learn what system the other print link what it does is just to print out something on the screen now for us to write this how many lines of code one two three six lines of code for us to write these six lines of code in python we're only going to do it in one line of code one line of code uh, okay let's say two lines because we're going to import pyj we're going to import genius so we're going to say genius genius import auto class right my focus is here guys auto class uh let's see let's see CLS. Let me play the whole screen and put a more beautiful view here. So we're going to say from genius port auto class. Is my microphone recorded? Okay, it is. It is. Let me pull this thing down a little bit. Okay. Uh, now uh, we are going to is trying to instantiate or uh, initialize the JVM, Java Virtual Machine. So it takes some time. 
that is why if you're using genius on your android it also takes a bit of time to run your code because there's some some jv code stuff behind the scene okay we are going to say this auto class um system no no no, no. we are going to import in java dot lang dot system so we are actually trying to import this system code this system here this guy now we're going to put dot out dot print lane hello world let's see if we get what we get on java without needing semicolons curly braces yeah we did it's actually run our code so um most of you must have seen this code this way something like this you'll see something like uh some of us do something like this system right it works yeah it's still the same thing and then you kind of like reference what is here the print line you are referencing the return state point yeah and still say hello world yeah it works right so uh where does java the length the system come in how did it appear actually by default java imports that code automatically we don't need to import but uh we can still go up here and say something like this uh oh no it's a completion here well anyway <laughs> thus i'm going to get my auto completion and when we compile our code it says error okay semicolon can you see that we're suffering from a whole lot of semicolons in java you don't want that bro all right let me put that it's compiled successfully yeah no errors compiled no syntax error so uh right let's do this here again Compile, compiling done, done, no syntax error. So let's run our code. Yeah, hello world there again. As you can see, no errors, no nothing. It's just, unless it's, it's just like importing print in Python. <laughs> you don't import print in Python because Python uh, already imports that by default for you when you start up your interpreter, Python interpreter, whatever you call it. So that is it for auto class. And how do you reference a function in Java? Uh, as you can see, we just reference the print function here. This is it, the print lane function. So guys, this is just an example of how Java, how Python interacts with Java. When you say auto class, you are trying to import the Java code. The Java class, not the Java code, I'm sorry. Yeah, the Java class. And now you now have full access to this uh, Java class. Now, when you say die system, you will see a list of Java variables and methods attached to this system. As you can see, we are looking for out. Where is out? I am any L M N C out here. Uh, these are all Java properties. I mean, all system properties. Um, these are all of them. All of them. So it's just like you are now having access of Java codes in your Python. No need to write it in Java verbose way. You write it in Python minimalistic way. It is just as simple as that. So I'm going to stop this video here because I'm going to be drawing it series by series so that you try to understand the concept of what is actually going on i don't want to bombard you with everything at once so guys i'm going to pull up my jam beat again i'm going to stop this video and i'm going to put up my jam beat so guys do watch this jam beat this is an intro what i'll be using in my whole video all right guys see you in my next video